Don't say it, it is, not your shoe. Hmm. I think one of the mistakes that we made was that we tried to penetrate fast. quick. So, you know, in your mind, sex is penetration. Sex is just, let's go in, let's badge um, through the gates. Welcome to my show today. Yes, and ta-da! Yeah, see who's on my show today. I'm giving you a, 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 an effect, a soundtrack. Tan 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 tan. See who's on my show today. Hello, everybody. Hey, hey, it's not your show. Wait. Let me introduce you. <laughs> okay, you're welcome back to my show Sundays with the love the Spencer. And I'm yeah, pressing uh, my neck. <laughs> Can you imagine when somebody's trying to be romantic? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. You say romance, I press his romance, neck. romance you? is not violence. <laughs> romance is not violence. <laughs> I, I, she's just squeezing my neck. Squeezing my teeth, she wants to keep chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, whatever. Okay, so I know some of us missed us missed me last uh, Sunday. Yes, I was a little bit under the weather, so my dear. But now I'm bouncing, as you can yeah. see. I'm good, yeah. glorious. So back to who is on my show? This young man right here. I don't know him. I don't know him. Please, I don't know why. She does him. not know me after the flesh. <laughs> <laughs> but she knows me. <laughs> she knows me. Okay, let me give you a little introduction to this handsome young guy here. Um, What's your name, sir? Alright, my name is my name. <laughs> Please. Okay, this young man right here is um my husband. Yeah. Oh, that's... Yeah. Where's my name? Privileged husband. <laughs> Privileged husband. My husband, um, he's a good man. For some of us that don't know him, okay, he is um, Pastor Obonaya Apoke. Yes, and um, why laugh it? That are you? <laughs> <laughs> She's adding phonet to my name. <laughs> Please not, not add phonet. Pronounce Excuse it. Excuse me. Pronounce it. <laughs> this boy right here is Pastor Obonaya Apoke. Okay, and um, he's a husband to one wife and a father of a beautiful baby girl. Yeah. And um, he's a good man. Mm, yeah. Graphic you will designer. Love him. Yeah, he's a book a... editor, a book publisher. <laughs> Don't be blowing your heart now. Come no, down. I'm not let, me, I'm, let me introduce you. I am yeah. not, I'm happy you to introduce me. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> your introduction You're is slow. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, no. Okay, like he said, he's a graphic yeah. designer, beautiful graphics. Like, I'm still under his tutelage, you know. Uh, we are still, though he refused to uh, 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 teach me, like, like actively teach me. I'm learning it's, passively. It's, though. it's important that every man should stay on his lane. <laughs> <laughs> the one you can do, stay on the lane. She can cook, stay on your lane. <laughs> by the time, <laughs> by the time I give her the laptop and, and you know, let her design, and she'll be seeing uh, Lazo, <laughs> seeing cooking utensils. I had no deal. <laughs> so, whatever your passion is, stay there, develop your passion. Though it's also good to diversify, it's also good to learn, you know, as many things as you can, um, but try to master. A particular one be the master of one of your skills even though you can do many things so that's the way it goes okay today briefly we are going to be talking about something very important on this series what every young couple should, should know. know so today we are going to be talking about something 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 and if something, you're a young couple there gang, gang, gang. Uh, sorry <laughs> the way you're moving <laughs> so if a young couple there i want you to just indicate in the comment section let's know that you know you know you are watching and then you are following benefiting. the series you know me. we've had um three episodes right about three episodes um of what every young couple should know and it's important that we get your feedback how has it helped you have you been following if you've not been following we will we'll, um put the the links to our previous episodes in the description um, 
section so do it to leave your comment let us know that you are with us thank you Oh, we love you. Okay, so the topic of today is matters in mm. the other room. Uh. The other room. <laughs> <laughs> Those are deep matters. Deep, deep matters, spiritual matters. Matters of the deep waters. Ah, you yeah, know, you yeah. know. Sometimes you are at the surface. At the surface, <laughs> like uh, is it is it care now? Yeah, yeah is it care? The the angel was taking him. The first level was ankle, ankle deep. deep. The second level, knee deep. deep. The third level loins, but there was another level, the overflow. Overflow. This ah. matter is the overflow. <laughs> <laughs> At the level of the overflow, Jesus. So please, if you are not married, please kindly check out right now. <laughs> so they could also lead to people that are dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's yeah. true. Yeah. You know, no knowledge is a waste. It depends on what you do with every with knowledge. knowledge. Yeah. So whatever knowledge you're getting here today is strictly for the married. Yes. We are strict advocates of the bed on the fire. On the fire. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's strictly for the marriage. You know, sex sex was designed, you know, by God. A beautiful experience, you know, but he put it within a boundary, between within a limit. So I usually tell people that it's just like your gas cylinder. That's the limit of the gas. So if you take your gas, your gas, that's the gas itself and remove it from the confines of the cylinder disaster would happen so imagine that the gas does not have a gas cylinder so you just fill your kitchen with the with the gas and then light <laughs> light your mind. oh god so the boundaries are not limitations boundaries are actually meant to keep you within um the, the limits of god so god is not limiting you from enjoyment he's is yeah. he's, um, um shielding you from destruction so anything you take with, with um, that you take outside its boundary will destroy you. Wow. Sex. If you take sex out, outside the boundary of marriage, is likely to destroy you. So, okay. sexual purity all the way. All right. He has taken over my show. So I've been what that do. Oh yes. Okay. All right, sir. All right. But please let me go back. This is my show, please, sir. This is my show. So I have to take it, take it by myself. All right. So um. Uh, but, where are your placards? <laughs> this, this, it has done to it has done to demonstration. <laughs> my show. Give me back my show. <laughs> All right. So um, right. my husband right here is going to be talking about different things. Um, no, very... we are going to be talking about different things. She he wants to will, push it to he me. He will now. champion the decision. Ah, uh, the discussion. I agree Sorry. Not. He will champion this. So um, so we are going to be talking about things. You know, things we experienced, and um, things we've over time got to know about some young couples challenges and we're here to proffer solutions and proffer the best way to handle some issues as as it concerns sex first time sex and all that so over to you sir all right so what we're going to just be doing is um we're going to be um doing it together yeah so we just tell the story you know but she will champion it i'll be chipping in and all of that that's how we roll all right so um after the wedding you know the ceremony you know um, <laughs> when everybody has gone home <laughs> i think okay we are among the last set to leave you know as the um what are we called so, the and the celebrants or the host you wait for your guests to leave and then so we are among the last persons that no, left some there. people don't wait for their guests to leave. they actually leave before their guests leave that's true uh -huh. but we are good hosts <laughs> <We're very> good. <laughs> We waited. Only family members were left when yeah. we when we when we left the reception venue, and then we went to uh, the other room. It was only one room, shall because we were lodged in a hotel, so one room. So there's no other room in the hotel. Is that <laughs> the only room? Is the other room? <laughs> we went in tired, and you know. So my wife, I think we had to eat first. Yes, in preparation, you know. <laughs> He told Elijah eat for the journey is far, <laughs> so we had to <laughs> to eat because we knew that uh, something something is going to happen in the night. <laughs> it was already evening, so we were preparing for the journey ahead. So we had to eat. So um, I ate and then why is she laughing like this? Man? Why why are you laughing? Yeah, take over. No, continue. I'm not sir. saying that. You're, you're, you're laughing too much. No, I won't laugh again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're laughing too much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right, so we we did eat and um, 
my wife didn't want me to perceive her her sweats, so she said, let her go and take her baths, <laughs> and that's very important. <laughs> Is that true? Ah, ah, which one is perceived by sweat? We have sweated all day, <laughs> all day long, dancing and dancing. With good no. perfumes, Jare, you would not smell. Of course, with, no, I, I, I'm not saying there was a smell, I'm saying that the sweat is not good now. By the time we are doing the thing and I'm licking sweat, it's not good for the... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> So, so it's actually a strong point yeah, because yeah, sometimes yeah. what happens in the bedroom is that um, you know, a little thing can put off your spouse. Yeah. So true. it's good that you prepare. There is a preparation before the main event. And actually, first impression matters. Yes, too. yes, yes, yes. It matters a whole lot because okay, like okay, I will, I will tell you for that in the story. There was a first impression I had that you know, I had to deal with over the days or the coming weeks so um so the young lady said let her go and take her bath she invited me and you know it was those awkward see, moments see <laughs> see you are forgotten yeah yeah that's why i said i'm not a good storyteller she was the one that went in to take his bath first. Ah. i was feeling very i was like ah no she told me to go he told me to go and take my bath but i just went I think you just went. Okay, I just, oh, so I'm the one that went, not her. Sorry, I'm, you know, I mixed things. So up. I was the one feeling, ah, yeah, oh, yeah, ha, eh, bah, Should I enter eh. with him or should I wait, <laughs> should I wait for the young man to come and then I'll, I'll enter my own? <laughs> but at some point, I said, ah, ah, like, really, this is somebody I'm going to be staying for the, ah, ah, kiddie, please, let me just go in, Jare. I waited, I pretended as though. Don't see what's happening. I just leave. I did leave in the moment. I was living above the moment. Do you understand that kind of thing? Where you just feel you just make yourself oblivious of what is going on. You're just like, talk. I just bat it as if it's only me. You understand that kind of thing. You know, <laughs> all those people that I, I tell us if you if you have stage fright, look above. <laughs> look so above the, the eye level of your audience. We are looking. So she, we are looking above each other. <laughs> So after after we were through freshening up, it was time for the you know to lie in bed together. <laughs> so we lay in bed together. And it uh, was cold. It was cold, so we had to use the duvet to cover and cuddle up. And you know, yeah, because she was feeling very cold. Yeah, I was. Actually yeah, so I needed to protect her. That's so, not sarcasm. So, <laughs> <laughs> That's not sarcasm. The way he said it, I was feeling really actually very cold. Uh, so I did that. It was December, you know, win, oh, sorry, winter, Hamatan, wherever, whichever part of the world you are in. So it was cold, and it was already getting to night. So the the um, evening breeze and all of that, and the, and the AC, yeah. So I had to protect my Territory. my young wife. Am I now old? <laughs> my young wife. Am I now old? I'm still young now. <laughs> Forever young. <laughs> so we, you know, cuddled up under the sheets, and then. From cuddling up, we began to be cuddled up. <laughs> so, um, all right. So, um, being it my first time and her first time, it it was not a a smooth process as it were, in the sense that um, we didn't have any previous knowledge. All we had was okay, reading up. You know, um, we read the book. Um, the act marriage, marriage act, the act of marriage, sorry, act of marriage. That's the very important book that every intending couple should read, and even couples should read that book. So it helps to, you know, give us a little perspective to what we are we are about to do. So the journey started, you know, with the preambles and all of that and all of that, and you know, within a short time, I wanted to enter. But the gate was locked. <laughs> <laughs> the gate was locked, my my brethren. <laughs> so, but and that was my frustration. You know, um, that was one of the frustrations that made me. I was now like, ah, is this how this thing is? You know, because I tried hard. You know, it was just frustrating. It was frustrating to me. If, I must tell you the truth. It was frustrating in my mind. I was like, "Is this what people have been, you know, clamoring for?" <laughs> so I tried and tried, and you know, I think we were because, um, you know, as a first as first timers, I was looking at her face. So 
she had that look of pain and so i would stop and in my mind i was like can we leave this thing and try again later <laughs> let's leave this and try again later <laughs> but um she was strong um that and that's one of the points that young couples must must you know take note of you know not allowing fear to there was one thing that she said she said that if we stop this right now and start again let's say tomorrow it's, it's still the same process so the same pain that you avoided yesterday you still come to face it tomorrow do you understand and it might be worse do you understand? so her, her 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 mindset was just let's get this thing through it let's just go through with it every fear we cast you down in the name of Jesus <laughs> <laughs> and we are victorious so she had that 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 mindset and you know it, that was what really helped us to prevail that night you know I've heard stories of people not you know being able to conquer on the first night it took them three weeks some persons one month two months three months but ours was on that same night and it was because she was able to deal with her fears so as a young um I want to say bright as a young um, wife because fear is majorly in the, on the part of the wives because they are scared of you know the penetration you know the the pain um because it's more on their part the pain is more on their part so you have to deal with fear because fear can you know uh it, it can make you run away and once you begin to run you will continue to run until someone or something just changes your orientation so once you are you 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 run away from it, it registers in your mind that ah there is an escape route. You can always run, and you will keep running until God you know prevails. And even sorry to cut you, yeah. and that the fear of that um, first time sex is one of the fears you will have in marriage. So if you don't take care of the fear, other fears, what will happen? You always, like you said, you always want to run away. Yeah. You always run, want to run away. Like running. pregnancy has came with its, uh, its own challenges. Like pregnancy comes with its own challenges, with its own fear, fear of adding, fear of vomiting, fear of being dirty, fear of being ugly, fear of being of so many things. Then you, th that's a fear. That the fear of the labor ward. Do you understand? So so many fears. So I feel that we should just hit our fears as it comes. Yeah. Do you get so just hit our fears you know and one thing i always say is that the devil knows that sex is beautiful so he places fear to make you feel that it's not worth it it's not worth it you yeah. shouldn't you know i can imagine because i felt that way i felt it was not worth it uh, what, what, what is this is this all i've waited i, I don't want to say within my entire life <laughs> is this what i've waited to you know to come and face so so that 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 that's one of the plans of the devil you get so he makes you to fear one week two weeks three weeks four weeks in as much as i'll also encourage that you take your time but in while taking your time make sure fear is not the foundation of yeah. that waiting do you understand make sure fear is not because if you don't conquer your fears you will have so many fears so many fears like someone told me as a nursing mother her if you want to have high blood pressure your your blood pressure will rise there was one time i was feeding my child and jesus christ she was just coughing and you know that kind of cough i was like yeah hey 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 as in i was just i was just like you could see at that point i knew that some jesus i i can't even explain it at at that point and i remembered what that person said so there are so many things to be scared of yeah so but at the beginning you don't want to be getting scared all your life and especially marriage so at the beginning you have to conquer their fear by telling yourself that first of all god has not given you the spirit of fear sex is not supposed to be scared of you're not supposed to be scared of sex sex is something that god has planned and created for you and your spouse to enjoy so whatever god has made for you to enjoy and you're getting scared of know that it is not the plan of the wicked and the devil is in, is is ha, has a part um part in it so as a young lady i'm encouraging you as a young bride a young wife you're scared hi this one this one don't worry it's all going to be fine to get it's all going to be fine the pain is just for that day or maybe a one week of, a couple of days or a couple of days to get so um, before you know it, you start enjoying what God has made for you. See it as the, 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 the 
plan or the will of God for you to enjoy your marriage. The same way we say, we say that children are a heritage. The same thing. Sex is a heritage for a couple. Alright, so she was able to deal with her fear and it helped a lot. And then I think what helped us again was the positioning. Because um, at, at the beginning, we were trying to do missionary style, which is the, the usual. If you don't know missionary style, please, it's not for this show. You <laughs> can't <laughs> look it up. Let us not be defied. <laughs> Alright, so we were, we were trying to um, do the missionary style, but it was not working. So it was the face-to-face, -face, you, know, you know, I think sitting and like, you know, two persons facing each other and in a sitting position that you know I think that's that um, has a way of uh, what, what does it do but it just makes it easier not easier yeah. is not easier in the sense that it's, it's easier for your form. body but it's easier for the penetration to occur and for the gates to be open for you so I think as a young couple you must you must not um, die for your first time for your first time you must not it must not be the missionary style you can try you know sitting and facing each other i think it helps to stretch the the wall and, and the hymen and all of that so that it makes penetration easier and then also um i think um, one of the things also that we must take note of is the duration of your foreplay it's very important because i think one of the mistakes that we made was that we tried to penetrate fast. quick so you know in your mind sex is penetration sex is just let's go in let's patch um through the gates but it's not it's not just that there are processes before the penetration that helps that helps in that in the act of penetration so um for example people tell you for example to use um oil um lubricants lubricant and all of that the idea is simple, it's just to aid the penetration. But there are natural lubricants that God has put in place that elongating your, your foreplay would naturally release in, in excess. And then it makes penetration easy. So what am I trying to say? Even the scripture says, be slow to, um, to speak, right? Slow to speak, slow to anger, slow to enter. <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand? It's scriptural. If, if, if you are slow to speak and slow to, uh, uh, to get angry, also be slow to enter. Patient. Patient. Fruit mm. of the Spirit. Be patient as you are journeying. It's a journey. When you are traveling, you are, you are patiently ascending. Ascending, for example, if you are speaking in tongues, you are ascending gently, gently, gently. In the same way, when you are, when you are traveling, you know, going to Jerusalem, be slow to gentle gentle so engage our point is engage in a lot of foreplay you know before the act of penetration it will help to ease the the process of penetration so number one is what deal with your fear deal with your fear and this goes especially to the ladies deal with your fear number two is go slow and this goes especially to the guys so um also ladies you can also help him go slow when he's trying to enter just you know be redirecting him <laughs> be redirecting his attention <laughs> so but it's, it's majorly for the guys so as a guy you would want to because the the sexual journey or the sexual art is different for the men and for the women for the guy within minutes you are you are high do you understand you are waiting to offload but the lady it's, it's a journey for her actually so it's a process it's like climbing a mountain so she takes it slowly so you must be patient to go with her slowly if you want to satisfy her unless you are being selfish and you just want to satisfy yourself but if you are looking at pleasing your new wife you are you are, you are looking at pleasing your your spouse your wife you must you know go slow say it with me go slow again go slow and what is girl's law? <laughs> okay. Is it, it girl's law? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so finally from our end, I want to say this, that um, to be deliberate. Like you have to be seriously deliberate about sex and yeah. intercourse. You have yeah. to be deliberate. So um, um, 
don't see it as something that you can do once a week, Abby. Mm. No, let's or just whenever we feel like. Oh, whenever we feel like, because you will never. Have, sometimes I don't feel like it. Sometimes yeah. he doesn't feel like it. That's so, true. so the same way we highly esteem connection with the spirit, we should esteem this. Okay, so it is one of the foundation. It is one of the ingredients of the foundation of a marriage. Yes, one it of is the ingredients. Of I the thought that she's, she's a cook. <laughs> <laughs> one of the ingredients. <laughs> okay, so so please be deliberate. Okay, yeah. be deliberate and don't allow the devil to mess up with your mind. Don't mm. allow the devil to mess up with your mind. Sex, even though you say sex is cheap over there, you can go there. No, no, sex. God placed so much value on sex. And he wants you to enjoy your marriage and sex is one of the two so you don't allow the devil or social media to mess up with your mind know that your husband is your husband yeah. any time of the day yeah you can do any any time of the day Jare. and please and please this is not just for the beginning of the marriage okay it is something that we keep growing into and we keep getting better at and this brings me to say that don't expect it to be perfect at the beginning. Or yeah. do you get? So allow some space for those mistakes so that you can learn from it. Yeah. Okay? So as we go deeper and deeper, we see that it's better and, and better, better with hard work and with a deliberate attitude. Okay? Yeah. So and quest for knowledge. Yeah, so quest for books, knowledge. Yeah. Good books, good books yes, on good books. on sex and it will uh, it will help you a lot. So that's that's right about that. And also be able to express yourself to your spouse. Yes, express very yourself. important. Express very yourself. Important. So you must be open with your spouse. So tell him or her, oh, this is the way I like it. Ah, I feel that if we go this way, if you touch me in this place, if you do this, ah, this is my erogenous area and all of that. So be open, be open, so that you know you don't leave him or her to to um. Oh, oh, how do I put it now? To wallow in ignorance. Yes, to wallow. Why did you leave me to wallow <laughs> in silence before you gave me? <laughs> so don't leave your spouse to wallow, wallow in, ignorance. in ignorance. Just tell him, okay, this is the way I ah for me. This is the area of my body that is very sensitive. Okay, touch this place and also lead his hand or lead her hand in whichever case to the places he wants to be touched and all of that. And so, there's no need to be shy, Jerry. Don't be shy. Please, that's your husband. Naked Both of them were, were naked and they were not ashamed. It is don't be shy, okay? Mm. All right. So thank you very much for joining us, and I want to say thank you to our guest my on pleasure. the show. Uh, this is the only guest I can do like this. So every other <laughs> guest, I'll be like. You're welcome, sir. Any other who, guests? Who there, will be, be there will be Holy Ghost this time. Yeah, exactly. Holy Ghost this time. That's what. Oh, nah, nah. That's the Holy Ghost this time. In fact, there's a Holy Ghost bonding. <laughs> All right. Thank you for coming to my show today. Thank yeah, you so much. Yeah, you're enjoying. Love you. Thank, oh, I love you too. And we love you. <laughs> I will love you too. So, like, um, subscribe if this is your first time. Subscribe and Put your comments in the comment section yeah. we really love to have your comments in the comment section and questions and whatever you want us to talk about yeah. whatever you want us to talk about on sundays with the love dispenser you can just put it there okay and we are here and available to answer your questions and so comment on your comments <laughs> all right thank you very much god bless you yeah. we love you, love you. Bye.